Do you want the background or not? It's just, it's just so rubbish. Yeah. Welcome to the first part of my new mini-series, Mind Over Body, where I'm gonna help you discover how to find your motivation and stop falling off track. Now, there are worksheets to do along with these videos. It's just like a miniature version of my mindset coaching, which I offer to my one-on-one -on -one online clients. So if you want to download those, make sure you're on the Eat, Run, Lift mailing list. that I wanted to talk about is setting your goals. I know that's super standard and a basic when it comes to achieving the fitness journey that you want to, but a lot of people forget to do this. When I say specific, I mean it needs to actually be able to be measured, whether that's you wanna be able to do 10 60 kilo deadlifts, you wanna be able to do five push-ups on your toes, you wanna to lose 10% body fat. The goal needs to have some kind of factor associated with it that you can measure and that you can and track. And after you've figured this out, I need you to figure out your why. Your why doesn't have to be overly complicated and normally it is that first thought that pops into your mind. For me and having PCOS, I don't have any symptoms anymore. So I want to do my best to maintain that baseline where I'm feeling healthy, I'm feeling good, I'm not experiencing all the ups and downs, and it almost feels like my PCOS doesn't exist anymore. Finding that deep underlying reason why you actually want to do something and keeping that in your mind is far more potent than just a goal on its own. There are four other topics that I'm going to touch on in this mini series as well, but I have left one blank. So if there's an element with your motivation or your mindset that you're struggling with, leave me a comment and potentially that can be the theme for the fifth video. When it comes to starting a successful fitness journey, you cannot, simply cannot overhaul absolutely everything and expect all the new habits to stick because I'm telling you now, they won't. You need to take it in stages. Now that you've got a goal and you've got a reason why, it's time to move on to the next step. Not only do you need a goal, but you also need a timeline to work on. If you're someone who gets easily discouraged or gives up after a week or two, this will be extremely beneficial. You can't just jump from zero to a thousand, so look at where your goal is and then set some smaller stepping stones to help you reach it. This way you can celebrate the small wins and you can keep an eye on the next small goal and before you know it, you've reached the larger target. Write things out or view them daily, whether this is your goals or whether this is the actions and the habits that you wanna have in place. Maybe this even means setting a reminder in your phone. You might remember me talking about be plus do equals have and how you know what you be and what you do will help you reach what you want to have. So that's why it's important to actually set the actions in motion. And yes, it is great and awesome to write out those goals and look at those goals every day, but are you actually doing the actions that are going to lead you to get there? So find a way that will let you practice those actions daily, whether it's setting reminders or pinning the new task to a daily habit that you already have in place. or develop a plan that's actually gonna work for you. Whether that means you design it yourself, whether that means you pull something off the internet, or whether you hire someone to create something customized for you, you do need to have something in place. The reason that we are putting a plan in place is to develop these lifestyle habits because like I mentioned in a previous video, habits are what keeps you on track. Motivation's there to spark you, but you really need good habits in place to keep up a routine. And I don't think I actually told you guys, but something that I've done in the time that I haven't been able to post a video is that I've launched my one-on-one -on -one online coaching, which you would have seen if you followed me over on Instagram. I'll fully develop your meal plan for you so that you have something to follow. I'll design your training program for you based off your goals and you get mentoring sessions where we'll be able to catch up via phone or Skype call. You'll also be able to take part in my 12 week mindset coaching program and you get direct message contact with me whenever you need it. So if you feel like you need a plan in place to help you reach the next level and actually hit your goals, check out the link in the description box. I am however only working 
working with a really small number of women at any one time, so if you do want to take part in it, you will have to apply. When it comes to your fitness journey, you don't just want to fluke it. It's best to have a plan in place. The reason for this is it does create habits and it also creates progression that you can track. And when it comes to your diet, you don't want it to feel like a diet. It should be an enjoyable way of eating. And that's how you make this become a lifestyle is you want to enjoy your training. You want to enjoy your food. It shouldn't be something that you have to slave over. It shouldn't be so grueling that you hate it. Because if you hate it, how are you going to keep it going? What are you willing to pay? And yes, in some cases this might be a dollar value, but in most cases it's not. Maybe it means you need to cut back on drinking, pack your lunches for work, or stop rewarding yourself with food. Regardless of what direction you want to take, there's always going to be something that you have to sacrifice. Because if you're in a position where you're unhappy, if you're in a position where you feel like you're just stuck in a bit of a rut, then it means that all the actions that you're doing currently might not be beneficial and some of them might need to be replaced with something else. To work on these steps in detail, jump on the Eat, Run, Live mailing list and you can download a copy of the worksheets which I have put together. And over the rest of the series, we are going to work on exactly what it is that drives you so you can stop falling off track and stop starting over again on Monday and all of that nonsense. In the next video, I will be talking through exactly how to build and create long-term sustainable habits that you can keep as part of your lifestyle. If you're new, don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss the rest of the series. I hope you guys are doing really, really well. And don't forget to leave a comment if there's anything that you struggle with and perhaps it can be the fifth topic for our Mind Over Body series. I'll catch you guys in the next upload. Bye.